Hello, Nadine here, artist in residence for Imagine Crafts. And today I'm going to show you how I decorated this three ring binder by Spellbinders from the Seth Apter collection. It is also refillable pages if you would like to add more pages to your book. And the first thing I'm going to do is take some joint drywall tape and just add it all to the outside of the book. Once I got that done, I started painting it with some black paint. And once the whole book was painted, I took some delicata in the silvery shimmer and with an ink blusher and just started going over those areas where the joint tape was at. And then the next one I did the delicata and the celestial copper. This is actually a new, it's not new, it's just in the bigger full-size ink pad. Now taking some of the creative medium and metallic silver and with a stencil just added some of it to the outside of the book or actually binder. It's going all around the book in different areas and I used a different stencil after this to give it to fill in some of the smaller areas and once creative medium was dry I went back over with the stays on ink and emerald city and with a sponge dauber just to give it some of a green color over the creative medium in different areas I decided I wanted a little bit more of that copper color from the Delicata and went in back over it with a little heavier look. I really love the look that it gives it. Now with some irresistible texture spray, first in um, wedding dress, I flipped some of that on there and then with some of the silver and then after that I used the tuxedo black and if you get it on your craft mat it's a good idea to wipe it up right away before it dries onto the mat otherwise it's a little bit harder to get off the mat. Now taking some more of the after the irresistible dried I took some of the creative medium in the ir iridescent green just randomly applied it to the outside. I love the iridescent look. And you can kind of see it. It looks more white when it's wet, but when it dries, it's really neat looking. Now, with the uh, Spellbinders die also with the Seth Apter collection the roto rings and all I did was just use on with a piece of chipboard like cereal box thickness I guess is what you would call it I did um, cut them out with the Spellbinders Platinum Machine and then I took the new color of the Delicata in black shimmer and colored up those chipboards I also did it in the Celestial Copper and also Silvery Shimmer. I did a whole bunch of different ones. And then I adhered them to the outside of the, the binder, taking some more of the Creative Medium and the Metallic Silver, and just kind of went over the edges of those rings that I adhered to the outside of the book. This all just gives texture. And then again, once this was all dry, I just added a little piece of twine, wrapped it around there, tied it on, and added some bling. And created a really nice grungy but blingy, so it's not totally boy and it's not totally girlish kind of binder. Thank you for watching, and please visit ImagineCrafts.com for even more inspiration.